Hello students, I am back with the second part of the Kingdom Fungi and in this part I am going to discuss about the classification the second part the second classification of the fungus that is based on the spore formations and the previous video i talked about the uh, structure of the fungus then their habitat their uh, characteristics and also the classification the first classification that is based on the mode of nutrition and here in this video i am going to talk about the classification and also the, that's a classification but based on the um, spore formation and also the reproduction in the fungus and in the last video we talk about the classification that is based on the mode of nutrition that is saprophytic parasitic and symbiotic that is saprophytic that means they are the uh, leaves on the dead organic matter or the dead materials they are called saprophytic and the parasitic means that is leaves on the other organisms and get the benefit from the uh, those uh, the host and also harmful to the host and the symbiotic that means uh, they are living on other organisms that they are mutually benefited or they are uh, mutual understanding they are going or living in mutual understanding mutually benefited okay and in this video here you can see the first one the classification that is based on the spore formations and the fun kingdom fungi are mainly classified into four based on the formation of the spores that is zygomycetes ascomycetes basidomycetes and deuteromycetes and the first one is the zygomycetes and these are formed by the fusion of a two different cells okay the zygomycetes are the formed by the fusion of two different cells and the sexual spores are known as the zygospores while the asexual spores are known as the sporangiospores as we discussed in the last video that is sporangiospores that is a spores that are present in the sporangium that is a, a sporangium that is holding on the sporangia four okay that is uh, zygomyces these are formed with the fusion of two different cells and the sexual spores are known as the zygospores and while the asexual spores are known as the sporangiospores and the hyphae are without the septum and yesterday when i uh, showed the picture of the structure of the fungus i showed you that the rhizopus is a, a structure of the rhizopus you can see that there is no septae hyphae is not sept septae that means as uh, Accepted hyphae. Accepted hyphae means what? There is no compartmentalization or there is no cross wall formation of the septa is absent in the hyphae. So that there is a multinucleated hyphae can be seen. They are called as a xenocytic hyphae. Okay. Those are the things that we discussed in the last video. So the zygomycetes, they are formed by the fusion of two different cells and the sexual spores are known as the zygospores and asexual spores are known as the sporangiospores and their hyphae are accepted hyphae. Example is a mucus, rhizopus, these are coming under the zygomycetes. And next, second one is the ascomycetes. Ascomycetes, they are also known known as the sac fungi what is that they are also known as a sac fungi and they can be they can be coprophilus decomposers parasitic or saprophytic and the sexual spores are called as the ascospores and asexual reproduction occurs by the formation that is a spores called conidiospores that is ascomyces they are also known as sac fungi they can be coprophilus decomposers parasitic or saprophytic and the sexual spores are called as the ascospores and asexual reproductions occur by the conidiospore formation and in example for the ascomyces are saccharomyces next is the basidomyces in the basidomyces they are usually that is a common mushrooms that are commonly found in the basidomyces the mushrooms are the commonly found in the basidomyces and are most lived as a parasite they are living mostly as a commonly lived as a parasite then the common mushrooms and the sexual reproduction that is occur by the basidospores and asexual reproductions occurs by the conidia that is by forming the conidia that is conidiophores may be there then budding fragmentation etc okay that is mushrooms are the commonly found in the basidomyces and mostly lived as a parasite and the sexual reproduction that is occur by the basidospores and asexual reproductions occur by the conidia fragmentations or budding example is the agaricus and the fourth one is the 
deuteromyces deuteromyces they are also called as fungi imperfect or imperfect fungi and that means they are imperfect they they are, do not follow a regular reproductive cycles as other fungi they have the regular reproduction asexual or sexual here they do not have the uh, what sexual reproductive cycles they do not reproduce sexually and asexual reproductions occurs by the conidia that is fung deuteromyces they are imperfect fungi and they do not follow they why they are called imperfect fungi because they do not follow the regular reproductive cycles like the other fungus and they do not reproduce sexually and asexually they reproduce by the conidia example is a trichoderma so these are the four types of the or the classification of the fungi based on the formation of the spore okay that first one is the which one is the first one first one is the phycomyces or zygomyces then ascomyces basidomyces and deuteromyces that is <coughs> Zygomyces or phycomyces, there is a sporangiospores are there. The sporangiospores are usually formed in the sac like structure called sporangium. Apophyxes are the stall in the examples are rhizopus and mucor. And ascomyces, in the ascomyces, you can see the conidia for uh, ascospores are there, conidia for. You can see here the conidia branch, the conidia fours are there. The conidia is a conidia is a small. The circular or the oval shaped structures that is in a chain are called the conidia. Example here it is given is a pencilium. And the basidomyces that is you can see the commonly mushrooms and they are used as a parasite. They are basidospores are present. They are formed by the basidospores. That is agaricus is the example. And next one is the last one the deuteromyces. They are the fungi imperfect. Okay. The fungi imperfect. An example is the alternative why they are called imperfect fungi then they are called imperfect fungi because they do not uh, have a, uh, a normal that is a reproductive cycle they do not show a regular reproductive cycle and they do not reproduce sexually and asexually by means of the conidia example is the alternaria and next is the just we can recall about the habitat of the fungus uh, the, this this slide actually we showed in the previous video also okay those who didn't watch the previous video first go through that video and come into this part two okay the fungi that grow in the multiple habitat they actually live in the multiple diverse habitat they are living and they grow in every available habitat okay they usually grow in every available habitat wherever the organic matter living or dead is found most of them are terrestrial and some fungi you can say as aquatic forms and considered to be the primitive and they may also found in the water or drinking water and they contaminate the food and water and they are present in air that we are breathing in all times either as a mycelia forms or can be as a uh, spore forms you can see in the air it is present in the air and they prefer to grow in the damp dark as well as the humid places these are about the habitat of the fungus Next is the reproduction in the fungus and when we discuss about reproduction, there is a three types of reproduction. That is a vegetative reproduction, is the asexual reproduction, is the sexual reproduction. So fungi that reproduce mainly by the three modes of reproduction that is the vegetative, asexual and sexual mode of reproduction. In the case of vegetative reproductions, they take place usually by the form of fragmentation. That is a division forms, then fission forms, budding, oidia and chlamydospores. So vegetative reproductions take place by the fragmentation, fission, budding, they are usually commonly seen and oidia and chlamydospores. These are the five types of vegetative reproduction. The vegetative the fungi usually reproduce by the vegetative, sexual as well as asexual reproductive mode and the vegetative reproductions usually take place by the fragmentation, fission, budding, oidia and chlamydospores. Asexual reproduction is refers to as the anamorph that occurs by the spores called conidia or sporangiospores or zoospores. They, they the asexual reproductions are called as anamorph and they usually occur by the asexual reproductions occurs by the formation of the spores called conidia then sporangiospores or zoospores and the sexual reproduction is called a telomorph and they occur by the oospores, ascospores and basidiospores that is sexual reproduction is also called as a telomorph and they occur by the oospores, ascospores and basidiospores.
that is three types of reproduction vegetative asexual and sexual reproduction vegetative reproduction occur by fragmentation budding fusion oidia chlamydospores asexual reproduction is called as anamorph they occur by the spores called conidia or sporangiospores or zoospores and sexual reproduction they are called telomorph occur by the oospores ascospores and basidiospores and various spores are produced in a distinct structure called as a fruiting body these spores are usually produced on a specialized structure called as a fruiting body and the vegetative reproduction first one is the vegetative reproduction that is fragmentation fusion budding oidia and chlamydospores and the fragmentation some fungus belongs to the ascomycota and basidiomycota is multiplied by the breakage of the mycelium they actually would grow by or the multiply or reproduce by the breakage of the mycelium and from the mycelium they actually produce or develop as a individual organism or a new fungus and the budding some unicelled forms especially the yeast form multiply by the budding that is a some of the unicelled form that is mainly the yeast forms they multiply by budding and actually how it is formed as a bud a small protrudence can be seen on the cell surface initially and they enlarge their sizes and they once they completely enlarge the forms the proper size they actually detach from their parent cells and form develop as a independent cells or individual okay the new fungal those are new cells that is budding is actually commonly seen in the unicelled forms that is multiplied by budding that is actually the yeast forms and here what is a, a bud is or a small protrudence that can be arise at the parent cells and that enlarges that is enlarging means the size is actually increasing they are, they develop into a proper size or their size enlarges or uh, increases their size and they separated or they fall off from their detach from the septa forms and they detach from their parent cells and develop as a complete or independent cells and fission a few unicelled forms like yeast and slime molds multiply by fission also they actually multiply by fission that is called uh, um, vegetative reproduction by fission that is a, a few unicelled forms like yeast and slime mold multiply by fission here in, the, in this slide fragmentation budding and fission some fungus belonging to the ascomycotina and basidiomycota multiply by the breakage of the mycelia cells and this individual or broken mycelium is grown up into a group growing into a new fungus and the budding some unicelled forms particularly the yeast cells they multiply by the budding that is a small protuberance or a swellings that occurs at the cell surface and they enlarge their increases their size and once they acquire the proper size they separated or cut off from their parent cells and develop into a complete or independent cells and the fission in some cases in the case of the unicelled forms like yeast and slime molds they multiply by the fission next is the oidia formation oidia in some mycelial forms of thallus breaks into component cells and each cell then round up into a structure called oidium that is a plural form is oidia and they may germinate immediately to form a new mycelium that is in some mycelial forms the thallus actually the uh, that uh, uh, um, plant body or the fungal body that breaks into a component cells that is a, a breakage parts as a component cells and each of those cells then round up into a structure called oidium and this oidium they germinate immediately to form a new mycelium and grow up into a fungal forms and the chlamydospores some fungi produces chlamydospores which are thick walled cells that is in some cases they produces a chlamydospores which are thick walled cells and they are intercalary in position these chlamydospores are usually in the intercalary that is a middle portion it is actually located in the mid part and they are capable of forming new plant under favorable conditions when the favorable conditions occurs they are produced or grown up in or germinate or produces a new plant that is oidia in some mycelial forms the thallus breaks into its 
component cells and each cell then round up into a structure called oidium and this oidium germinate immediately to form a new mycelium and the chlamydospores and some fungi produces a chlamydospores which are thick walled cells and they are intercalary in position and they are capable of forming new plant when the favorable conditions occurs or the favorable conditions come. And next is asexual reproductions. In the asexual reproductions, there is a sporangiospores. These are thin-walled, non-motile spores formed in sporangium. In the last video itself, I am talking about this sporangiospores. They are produced, the spores that are uh, produced in a sporangium or a sac-like structure is called as a sporangium. And the spore develop inside this sporangium is called as a sporangiospores. Okay, and they are uninucleated or multinucleated and they are also called as aplanospores. That is a sexual reproduction, first two ones are sporangiospores. They are the thin walled non-motile spores. Non-motile means they are not able, capable of moving, that is called non-motile. And they are formed inside a sac-like structure called a sporangium, that is called, they are called sporangiospores. And they may be uninucleated or multinucleated and they are also called as aplanospores. Next is a spores. So spores, they are the thin walled motile spores formed in the Zoosborangium. They are called, they are the thin walled and they are the motile spores. Actually the first one sporangium spores are non-motile spores. Here this is a motile spores and they are formed in the Zoosborangium. Example, Philobulus. In example is a Philobulus. Here in this case, in philobulus, a sticky mass containing many spores are discharged as a single unit. That is, they are actually discharging. That is actually single unit. At one unit, they are discharging many spores. That is a sticky mass containing many spores. They are discharged as a single unit. That is in the case of philobulus. That is, so spore formation. And in the case of conidia, in some fungi, spores are not formed inside a sporangium okay the sporangium that is a sac like structure but here in the case of conidia in some fungi that is actually mainly in the case of aspergillus i showed you in the picture right previous slides i showed you that aspergillus you can see that spores are not formed inside a sporangium or inside a sac okay they are born freely on the tip of a branch like structure called conidiophores. Okay, the specialized branch like structure is there and they are growing on to that branch like structure that are called a coni that branch is called a specialized branch like structure called conidiophores. On the conidiophores, this conidia is developed, they are not developed inside the sac that is called conidia. That is conidia in some fungi, the spores are not formed inside a sporangium. They are born freely on the tips of special branch like structure, the specialized branch called as conidiophores and the spores then formed are called as conidia. That I showed in the picture I have marked there is a conidia is marked in that asper, in the aspergillus you can see there. Okay. And next is a sexual reproduction with the exception of the deuteromyces that is a fun, imperfect fungi. The sexual reproduction is formed in all groups. In the I, when I am discussing about the deuteromyces in the previous slide I told that they are imperfect fungi and they have actually they are not a regular reproductive cycle is not there and do not perform the rep, uh, sexual reproduction. But except that fungi all others all group of fungi their rep, sexually reproduction is is possible and during sexual reproduction three phases of nuclear behavior are shown lead to the onset of three distinct mycelial phase okay that is during this sexual reproduction three phase of nuclear behavior you can see that their nucleus actually behave there is a some characteristic differences can be seen in the nuclear behavior nucleus that is a three phase can be seen in the nuclear behavior and that leads the onset of a three distinct mycelial phase. That is first one is a plasmogamy, second one is a karyogamy and third one is a meiosis. These are the three phase of nuclear behavior and that leads the formation or the onset of the three distinct mycelial phase that is plasmogamy, karyogamy and meiosis. Then what is plasmogamy? The plasmogamy is a fusion of true, uh, sorry, uh, two protoplast. Okay. 
the two protoplasts are fused between and two motile or non motile gametes that is fusion of the two protoplasts that between two motile or non motile gametes are fused together okay then karyogamy karyo means the nucleus right the fusion of the two nucleus is called karyogamy and meiosis as we know and we we study that is a reduction division so these are the three phase of nuclear behavior and leads the formation of the three mycelial state that is a plasmogamy karyogamy and meiosis in the case of plasmogamy the fusion of the two protoplasts that between the two motile or the non motile gametes and karyogamy is a fusion of the two nucleus and the meiosis that is a reduction division in the case of plasmogamy that results in the formation of the dikaryotic mycelium that is n plus n dikaryotic that is a two nuclear okay that is two n stage that is a two nuclei per cell to call dikaryon and the phase are called as dikaryophase that is a uh, we told that three distinct mycelial phase are formed right so first one is a dikaryophase the dikaryophase is actually formed with the fusion of the two protoplasts that is a two um, motile or the non motile gametes are fused together that's a plasmogamy and the plasmogamy results in the formation of the dikaryotic mycelium dikaryon means dikaryo di means two karyo means nucleus that is a two nucleus per cell that's n plus n stage two n stage is there and it's called a dikaryon and the phase is called dikaryophase next is a karyogamy in a karyogamy that results in the formation of the diploid or diplophase mycelium that is diploid mycelium is formed or diplophase mycelium is formed in the case of karyogamy fusion of the nucleus and the meiosis that results in the haploid that's actually the reduction division right it actually results in the haploid or haplophase mycelium that is a uh, plasmogamy that results in the dikaryophase or the dikaryon okay that is a two nucleus per cell and the karyogamy that results in a diploid formation that is the formation of diploid or the diplophase mycelium that is a 2n other one is plasmogamy n plus n here it is 2n that is a diplophase or the diploid mycelium and the meiosis that is a reduction division that results in a haploid or n or haplophase mycelium and usually the fungal fungus that forms the fruiting body in which reduction division occurs leading to the formation of the haploid spores that is in the case of fungi that forms a fruiting body and on the fruiting body the spores are produced right and in the case of meiosis the fruiting body is in which the reduction divisions occurs the fungi forms a fruiting body in which the reduction divisions occurs that leads to the formation of the haploid spores and then these are about the uh, the um, classification of the fungi that is based on the spore formation as well as the reproduction that is a three mode of reproduction that is vegetative reproduction the sexual as well as the asexual reproduction and the students please go through this video and if you have any comments please let me uh, through the my, uh, my comment box and those who are first time watching this video or the watching my second part please go through the my first part also okay bye